Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be making DIY greeting cards. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm up to, please be sure to stay tuned. so much again for tuning into my channel today if you are new here then i'd like to welcome you and if you're returning then hey thank you so much for being a part of the brandy janae family in today's video i am going to be showing you how to take this which if you ever buy paper packs you know that in the paper packs in the back of the majority of them you have these random tag pages and if you're anything like me you're like what in the world am i going to do with these random papers so today i was um, going through my paper stacks and going through my papers and just trying to eliminate those ones that i don't need and of course i found a bunch of these little random tag sheets and so some of them i was able to cut down because i like to use them with my Etsy shop orders. I think it's just a cute little gift to, um, you know, add with the orders. Um, but then some of them I'm like, okay, these are too big. So now what? So anyway, I'm going to literally just show you how you can take these little things and then stick them to paper and just make some super cute greeting cards. So the only thing you need for this project is a, your tag sheet then you will need some cardstock in whatever color that you choose. I just chose to stick with, you know, basic white because it matches all of the different images. And I have my favorite paper trimmer from Stampin' Up. And then I have some adhesive because you got to glue it together somehow. Some people like to use glue sticks. Some people like to use wet glue. I prefer the adhesive runners just because it's just easier for me to use. And then I even pulled out some washi that I may decide to go ahead and use. So the first step of this project is obviously going to be to cut all of these up. Um, so you would just take your paper trimmer and then cut across the lines. And I've already actually done that on another sheet. So after you have them all cut up, they look like this. These are the ones that I've decided that I wanted to use here and then once I get to making the cards I may have to actually cut them down but you know for the meantime this is what they come out with as you cut the sheets the other um, few I was like I don't really need those ones I just pulled out the ones that I thought would make the best um, for cards so then greeting cards you cut down your paper um, I like to cut it to five and a half so your cards end up being four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So you can get two cards out of one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. All right, so I only needed three sheets of paper. I'm gonna get the trimmer out of the way for now. Oh wait, no, first, I forgot. Let me go ahead and score this. I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. All right, and now fold it in half. Let's see, ah, that fits perfectly. All right, so this one, so cute. I am literally going to add adhesive to the back of it. Pop it over here in this corner. Add a little bit of washi. and done boom one greeting card 
All right, so this one. And this, by the way, is one of those, it's, it's some kind of like, I don't even remember. I know I got the paper from Joann's um, and it was some kind of like French paper pack, which I don't even remember why I bought a French paper pack because I don't even speak French. But uh, I thought it was cute. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, so yeah, that's where this one came from. So this one is a little bit long, so I'm going to just cut it down to five and a quarter just so that it fits the front of the card a little better and this one will just take up the entire front right and done <laughs> easy easy all right then this one oh, I think I cut pretty sure I cut too many papers but that's okay oh no I'm not gonna use that one because I apparently scored it too hard all right so this Bon Appetit. I think what I want to do for this one is put some washi. Put the washi across like the middle. And you can either, you know, tuck the corners in or do like I'm doing and just cut the edges off completely right whatever makes you happy you can also take these and round the corners of either the paper or the um, tag just to give it a little extra flare. There's another one done. Then this one. This time I'm gonna take the washi and go. Uh -oh. This way. And you guys, I absolutely love washi tape because I just feel like it is a super cute and, you know, fairly inexpensive way to add some color to your project. So I have a ton of washi tape and that's why I subscribe to Simply Gilded because I absolutely love their washi tape. I just think it's so pretty and it works very, very well. So again, done. And then last but not least,
it and there we go okay so now you see how easy it is to use those tags that you just have in the back of those paper packs no use just having them laying around literally i just think it's super cute Oops. and then i can just take this write my little you know note on the inside and i'm done no need for extra papers no need for extra materials even the washi obviously that's optional you don't even need it um because these little things are just so cute and so pretty all by themselves so anyway i hope you like this video if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up also if you have not done so already be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below and let me know if you've ever used those tags in the back of your scrapbook paper packs and if you have what you use them for thank you so 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 much for watching and as always have a good day friends goodbye